assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. Now also, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist numbers are off the chart. We've got Zeke Naji, Christian Brown out there with Reggie Jackson, and it's Watson in at the two. That's the group for Denver getting going in the second. Now here's Curry. Shot clock at six. Here's Oubre, and he wills that one in, sinking it right through the back of the iron. Oubre's gotten his first bucket of the night. You know, Clark, when you think about the history of this Dallas franchise, one man stands out. That's Dirk. Yeah, he's worthy of a statue for sure, B.A. He played all 21 seasons of his career with the Mavs. He was the first European MVP in league history. And then in 2011, he helped bring an NBA title to the Mavericks, beating the LeBron Wade-led Heat team. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, Michael Porter Jr. never lacks for confidence in his jump shot, but he said offense for me should be an autopilot. I should be focused on the intangibles, the defense, the rebounding, the dirty work. That involves you in a game. Brian, the buy-in and the commitment to the little things has not gone unnoticed. Yeah, I love that. That's a great point. Thanks, Allie. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Down low. Here's Najee. Williams grabs the board. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. If you allow him to get that close, you deserve to get scored on. Pass to Najee. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. John Char. Oubre with a steal. Now Green. On the wing, Curry. Green in the post. And it's hammered home by Green. A precision passer, Curry, also excellent at seeing his guys when they're open. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. And if you're looking for a knockdown shooter from distance, look no further than Seth Curry. Well, not many guys have hit over 40% from three for their careers. And Seth Curry is in that exclusive club. And as a huge bonus, he protects the basketball and doesn't turn it over. for the Nuggets. And it's time to give you a look at the top three-point shooting teams from a year ago. Fourth, the Nuggets. Just so efficient from downtown last season. The threes are a big part of this team's offensive game plan. On the wing, Holiday. He's guarded by Irving. Holiday passes to Jordan. Powell pulls it in. For Dallas, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Here's Oubre. And he throws it down with one hand. I like Doncic's willingness to share the ball. He wants to see other guys involved in producing. To the inside. Oh, he's a monster. Jokic just flexing out here. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Irving, the pass to Doncic. 4-3. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. And you'd think their lead would hold as long as they continue to shoot like this. Yeah, they're cracking. Absolutely cracking and looking to pad that lead. Caldwell Pope's shot is off. And Dallas with possession. They're on an 11-2 run. Three-pointer. Doncic, no good. Doncic against Jokic. 
Jokic finishing through the D. Well, his ball handling skills for a guy of his size and the creativity he plays with. Just remarkable when you watch Jokic do his thing. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Mavericks ahead, up one. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. Luka Doncic had a huge first quarter. He had 11 points and one assist. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? We have to recognize their bench play. Sometimes we overlook the second unit. But tonight, they've been the key. The coaching staff has got to be... That about wraps it up. Time now. this one plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one you know one guy who's been getting it done is Luka Doncic you just love his patience offensively in the first half waited until he got the looks he wanted well you know what guys it was all about efficient offense not rushing things taking your time finding the best shot on every possession so the Mavericks five right now Hardaway Jr. is three with Williams at the four Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt and it's McGee in at the center position well, Clark, when you talk about Doncic, he came into the league with a ton of experience under his belt. Yeah, and I think people undervalued the experience of being a pro at the age of 16. It wasn't the NBA, but it's still professional Denver basketball Powell. that he played in Europe. Jamal and that seasoning That's and that competition and first that being down. refined in the fire allowed Doncic to step into the NBA unfazed. Denver on D. McGee finds Doncic. Doncic is doubled. Williams from long range. Porter pulls it in. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Gordon, the pass to Murray. And the shot's good. Murray's got eight points. Guys, I tell you what, it feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Pass to McGee. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. If you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. The ball's knocked loose. Gordon with a steal. And here comes the break. Jumps up. And Gordon with the big finish. And although he's 6'9", Gordon runs and sprints like a much smaller man. He's got gazelle-like form and speed in transition. Clark, last year, Luka Doncic averaged over 32 points a game. Second best in the NBA. Yeah, you can't ignore the fact that he also led the league in usage rate to B.A. It's the Luka show in Dallas. However, after missing the playoffs last year, it's pretty clear Doncic needs some help. Doncic right side. Three-pointer. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got rebound number five here tonight. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Mavericks. Mavericks ball. And a chance now to check out the scoring distribution between the front court and back court players tonight for the Mavericks. Mavericks it's been their guards who have really carried the weight offensively. They'd appreciate some more production out of their front court, but for now, their back court has kept them in it. And Dallas calls time here. And Grant, last season, Nikola Jokic came close to winning his third straight MVP. But in the end, he won something more precious, an NBA title. And that finals MVP award more meaningful, both personally and in terms of his legacy, being a winner is what matters in the end. And it's a completely new group here for the Nuggets. And a new group getting ready for the Mavericks. Powell, he's checked in for McGee. Green comes in for Hardaway. Oubre, he's checked in for Irving. And it's Curry in for Doncic. The quick thinking of Jackson, putting his speed to great use to wreak havoc like there. Williams finds Curry. 
And there's the call on Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. Green in the post. The kick out to Williams. Three on the clock. Curry from deep three-point land. Again the miss by the Mavericks. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. He got in excellent position, then takes it right back up. And here's Oubre. They grab their own miss. And so it's the Denver Nuggets leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. Back to the game after this. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. We've got Christian Brown. Kentavious Caldwell Pope out there with Justin Holiday. Then it's Zeke Naji, And it's Chanchar in at the powered forward position. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. And Irving gets it to go. But you know, guys, we know Hardaway can score. But when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. Now a timeout called by Denver. Ready for the Nuggets. Jokic is checked in for Najee. Gordon comes in for Chanchar. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Brown. And Murray subbed in for Holiday. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Denver's coach was going over with his team. Coach had a direct message for the team saying, no matter the lead, no NBA game is ever over. Do not let your guard down. We'll see if they hold on. Ali, thank you. And it's Doncic missing. And Gordon has got the ball here for the Nuggets. They lead by seven. Outside Murray. Back to Porter. Puts up a three. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Porter's got six points in the quarter. A true sniper from long range. Porter Jr. with a nice stroke on that shot. From deep, here's Doncic. Denver grabs the miss. Outside Murray. That's basket number six in eight tries. And Grant, you talked about it early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure's real, and it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. ACL injuries are always a scary thing in this league, Clark. It sidelined Jamal Murray for a full 18 months. So tough for a player to lose that kind of time, B.A., but Murray really is a tough guy. And he focused on his recovery and was able to make a strong return to the court. Holiday's checked in for the Nuggets. Doncic against Murray. And it's Doncic missing. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up. 